What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and this is like a different type of video but you can see I'm in 5th Avenue Bryan Park and this video is going to be based on subway stations so here by 42nd Street it's probably one of the busiest transition and subway stations you could connect with a lot of subway lines so I'm underground you can make it actually from 5th Avenue all the way to 8th Avenue underground without going above ground so I'm gonna walk around and figure it out so I'll take you guys with me so join me so as you can see this is uh fifth avenue by Bryant Park then I'm gonna try to connect with the, all the subway lines here the train right there but I'm gonna walk forward and as you can see the subway station is pretty deserted because rush hour pass but if I go like closer to the Times Square area it's gonna be like really busy so I'm just gonna keep walking ahead you just gotta pay attention and follow the signs where you want to go. Also, the shuttle line service is right here, so they did a few underpasses, a few connectors to connect there different is. subway lines. So I believe there's like 16 subway lines that go under this underpassage. So we're gonna try to walk it all the way to the Port Authority Terminal on 8th Avenue. Here on 5th Avenue, now we're gonna try to make it underground by 6th Avenue by the BDFM train line. So I'm not sure if this is like a new on the passes that they made and they developed like the walls and everything but I think it gives it like a really good vibe you know far pretty cool the station and then they got like the design and stuff but I can see they don't really preserve the station and they don't do like the proper maintenance but we'll see what can we find ahead but yeah the walls are pretty nice and neat then the enemy is like the B, D, F, M line train so I'm not sure I think I gotta go over that line and try to figure it out to the other subway line to see how can I connect to the other side. So like I said, this underpass is really huge. You just gotta follow the sign. <laughs> so then here you see the other signs and the other subway line. So you just gotta go above ground. And I think it's gonna be like a really beautiful architecture here. You can see the mosaic of the walls that connects over here. This is this beautiful here. I'll get closer to it. It's like a mosaic, I think. If I'm not mistaken. But it's a shame that they don't keep like the floors clean, but <laughs> I guess it's a usual thing here in New York City, but it really, it really helps with the rush hour. It's I think over 800,000 people they, they pass by all the stations, you know. They pass by all the stations alone just more than the entire subway system and bus system in Boston so it's like a relief that they have all this connection and then in rush hour you're gonna see a lot of activity going on here but yeah, this is pretty interesting and then ahead of me the S line or the shuttle bus that passes by and it goes to Grand Central all the way to another stop but you're gonna see it and this is where the S line pass and it's gonna connect with probably the busiest area in this connector which is the one, two, three line, the N, Q, W, R train, which is really, really packed during the rush hour, but you'll see. The good thing about this is that I'm filming at like around eight o'clock, so you're not gonna see a lot of people. During the rush hour, it'll be a little hard for me to film, but so far it's pretty interesting. And then this is where gonna be like the really busy area that connects everything around here. So you can see a couple of lines here, N, Q, W, R train line. And then as you go over this way, the one, to free train line, Times Square, and then you can walk for the A, C, and E. Like I said, it goes all the way to 8th Avenue. So it's like a little city underground here in New York City. A lot of people. I walked here earlier, there was like some street performers, so it was really cool. Like I said, you just gotta follow the signs right here. Follow the signs to go up the stairs. Then you make a left if you're trying to make it to 8th Avenue. And I know because I already did the walk first to study how to get around. So now I'm just walking it back to the Port Authority. And it's really good also like when the weather is really cold. Like today is freezing outside so I just walk underground over here. So it gets it like a good vibe there. It's an uptown train. I think it's really cool. Well, I gotta say, going under the subway train is pretty interesting and you see a lot of interesting characters, so I think it's something really cool. So now I'm just passing the 
seven train line. So just down here, I don't know if you can see on the ground. But yeah, this is like another connector heading to 8th Avenue Port Authority and then to my right hand passes the 7 train which it goes all the way to the Hudson Yards and then from there you can go all the way to the last stop Flushing Queens so it pretty much passes 42nd Street right here so I'm walking right next to it like I said I walked here earlier and it was like really packed a lot of people going left and right so I was trying to keep my distance you know because uh, the pandemic that's going on was still pretty cool I gotta say it's like a ward conference now I'm going up the hill then we're gonna go down the hill so it's pretty cool this is like a tunnel over here Still at this time you see a lot of activity, a lot of people walking around. Still. And they got like this the science over here. So I think it's pretty cool. And they got screens where they put signs and everything. Like I say, this is really like a game changer when the weather's like really cold. And it, and it makes it pretty easy for people to just to connect to their subway stops without having to get on the streets. It does do it all on the ground, you know. So this is pretty much like the Port Authority side. So I literally walked from 5th Avenue to 8th Avenue within maybe 10 minutes. So it was pretty easy to do it, you know, on the ground. So not, nothing bad, you know. That was the end of my video walking from 5th Avenue here to 8th Avenue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it a little bit useful. So take care everybody. God bless y'all and peace.